have great news. Is the news that you have a card? Well, A, the console. eat all the dicks in the universe. B, yes. So Is we this recording? Yes. We only have 10 hours of recording time on this memory card, so we have to really make the most of every second. Because we could go over any time now, given the way we podcast. I mean, come on. Well, welcome to the Transmit Podcast. I'm your host, Spike. I'm Samantha. I'm Victor. And... Oh boy, I've got a whole bunch of thoughts. I've got a whole, I got some news. I got, I have all sorts of stuff. I can see the steam coming out of your ears. Oh, so much. Because these are partially open headphones. So it just poofs gears out of them. trying to churn. Oh, I, I have so many gears and all of them are churning. I thought they moved other gears, but apparently gears churn now. And all the cobwebs and dust is all flying out. And oh, everything. please. I, I, mm-hmm. I haven't been cobwebbed up in months. <laughs> it's like a smokestack. Boom! I am I am cooking. Cook, okay, so how 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 are you guys? Come on, uh, give me give me a little. Let's let's relax. Get into the flow of things. Here we go. Well, I don't really like uh, like being asked how I am. Oh God, you're turning into Sam. He's not turning into me. We <laughs> literally have the same preferences for. Uh, you guys are so small weird. Talk. No, uh, okay, we just we, don't like small talk. We it's are literally on a podcast. We're supposed to talk. I'm just. We're to talking to about things. It's not like. I don't think I've ever well, seen a podcast where they ask that exact question. God, you only listen to Sociopaths <laughs> podcast. Okay, that's uh, fine. Let's move well, on. I don't think like, any of the podcasts you actually listen to do that. They always uh, walk, walk in with, "Hey, how you doing, guys? You got any tour, any dates coming up? Anything going? You know, like all sorts." Okay. Listen. Things that are relevant to their careers. Well, and we're friends, and that's your, your well-being is relevant to me. Yeah, but why is that relevant to being on the podcast? Because, it's see, it, this, it led to us talking. See, it's, it's just a I little... I mean, I could just get up icebreaker. and not be on this anymore. Why? why? It, it, you're talking right now. I mean, albeit in a very passive-aggressive manner, but you're still talking. Okay, look. That's, I was hoping you'd had some thoughts. Like, you notice how I write down thoughts? Take your time. Um, this is for you too, Victor. <laughs> I, I come with some. I come with. Because your st- brain only has so much storage capacity. Well, no, it's easy to forget stuff like little thoughts that might be uh, interesting to talk about. So you want to write that stuff down, like on a buck slip. Okay, did yeah. you have any interesting like noses or knowledge come into your mind that you would like to talk about? No, let's just get to your. Exactly, book. you didn't. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you you may have thought of stuff, but now it's gone from your brain meat. So. Th- well. Oh, wait. Well, uh, I don't know. I don't really plan for the podcast. I just kind of come on here and just <sighs> talk about. You, you know, want whatever. to claim ownership of this. Well, so it's we your mean, responsibility. We mean claim ownership. I bring you on for help with this. <laughs> you could just record your podcast alone. Well, God, this is getting very passive aggressive and mean. Is it passive aggressive really or is passive. it just aggressive? It's, you're still in the, <laughs> you're still in the passive aggressive <laughs> zone. <laughs> Like me telling Victor to go fuck himself. That's aggressive. That's very aggressive. See, there we go. So you need to oh, you go need fuck a, yourself. You need to Boom. You need aggressive. To <laughs> you need to chill there. Okay, I'm sorry. I got really aggro there. Okay, how how about this? I, I learned recently that Gwyneth Paltrow is... Um, you, you've seen the crazy shit she... Um, goop. She, yeah, goop. Well, mm-hmm. she, she has a candle. And uh, it, it's... I, I realize we don't have enough um, sex and like excretion talk on this podcast, especially recently. So she's made a... <laughs> She's made a uh, a candle that smells like her orgasms. Oh, that that's interesting. That's cool. So what's the next one after that? Wow, that's, <laughs> you got nothing. <laughs> Listen, if you want this podcast to be twenty minutes, I can cool with that. But you got, <laughs> but you got to give me give me a heads up so I know what what I'm what I'm in for here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, uh, I'm, I was gonna say, you like, know, it probably didn't smell like her actual orgasms. It probably just smells like sea salt and like. Chocolate chip cookies or something. Well, maybe she's narcissistic enough to think that that's what her orgasm smells like. It smells like the ocean. So when does your shipment of her orgasm candle arrive? Uh, Listen, I have self-respect next week, and (laughs) I'm not going to stoop to that level. Uh, Oh. I so you're getting the candles? No, fuck no. I've seen the shit she sells on her website. It is insane bullshit that even I wouldn't buy. It's like yeah, she's a little bit of a charlatan. Yeah, like I, I could make p- candles way more easily that smell like my orgasm, but it would also be harder to sell. It'd be easier and harder at the same time. That business model for me, you know. Uh, 
Because it, no one wants to really smell that. No one's like, mm, male ejaculate. Can I get that in like a scented candle format? Also, you're not Gwyneth Paltrow. I'm, so if I was like in a, if I was an Iron Man. Well, I could, yeah, <laughs> I think Robert Downey Jr.'s orgasms would sell pretty well. Damn, you're right. Do you think he'd like change his diet to get diff- achieve different scents or what? Um, I don't know. I guess I guess he he could he could do that for special Patreons. He could like he would just masturbate into a cup for a month and then use that to mix into different candles. Well, I wasn't thinking it was his masturbation orgasms. I was thinking it was like his orgasms with women. But okay, come on, that's not the same thing. You're, you're, he's be selling well, other people's orgasms from well, him. When I when you said Gwyneth. A candle that smells like Gwyneth Paltrow's orgasm, right? Yeah. I didn't imagine her jerking off and then like what? What? jerking off into like a tub of wax. That is then... exactly what I imagine. Like whatever smell was coming from down there after after her big O, that that was the smell she tried to recreate. I figured it was just her like yes. having sex with a dude, and then she orgasms, and, and then she's, she's just trying to capture like a metaphysical <laughs> kind of like idea form. of that. <laughs> Wow, that's a way classier way. Could you look that up, Sam? What is she actually? I that's even, what I imagined. I imagined. <laughs> that's like, it depends. Robert Downey Jr., he has three flavors. One's a one night stand orgasm. Oh, wow. See, this has one. way more marketing opportunity. Keep going, keep going. One's like, uh, you know, uh, you know, on the beach, his beach orgasms. Ooh. And then ones that like his um his Iron Man mansion or oh that'd be great with Pepper Potts he's also into after he saved the world oh that's good that that is really good <laughs> he he's also into Wing Chun so he he might have like a martial arts uh one like after a hard hard day's training yeah he he gets Ip Man's wife oh wow he thinks she's hot and he <laughs> bangs her. yes the actress who played her yeah. in the movie okay yeah. no that's beautiful I I love I I love that oh speaking of people who've sold um gross things. Oh, I got I got to pull this up. D- okay, I got I got to get a different one cuz um some someone's back. I'm going to I'm going to give you Who's back? You were thinking I died. Oh, Big up. surprise. I still got them double thick thighs. It's French fries. I keep down and This is technically another the, one of the first Bell Delphine reports. Wait, she has a she has an ass now? Apparently she's de- well, she's been doing some workouts. So so yes, uh, she is very still very self-aware, and she did a little rap. I have a picture of why she was um, out, and apparently she fell off something and got injured. Oh, that was oh wait, that's a picture of my butt. Sorry, hang on. There it is. Same picture, everybody. God damn it! You can't play along. It's called yes and. Do I? I look like the kind of person who'd have a picture of my own butt, though, right? Uh, actually, no. Really. Wow. <laughs> Again, not a big fan of yes and. This is, <laughs> but yes, I. So technically, this is the Bell. Well, I can get in, I can get into why you wouldn't have a picture. Of oh, okay, yes. Why? Why is that? <laughs> because um, I think you're a little bit afraid of that kind of intimacy with yourself. With myself? Wow. Yeah, like you. You're okay with looking at your penis, but then when it starts getting to butts, you're, you're like. Um, you don't want to look at okay, it. Not it, even in the mirror. So I wouldn't imagine. That okay, you I tell you once. I tell you once. <laughs> I, I'm a little shy about putting my pinky up there, and you could. You, you're, you're, this is why he'll probably end up with prostate cancer that goes undetected. No, no. For, <laughs> whoa, whoa. For medical reasons, I will totally let someone put their finger up there. But for intimacy reasons, they have to be very special. Okay. Like Belle Delphine. Like Belle Delphine. Oh yeah. Like I'll if if she's if she gives me a good deal on her bathwater, I'll let her put her finger up my butt. I was amazed by her twerking abilities in that video right she she could well she put a lot of practice she's an artist (laughs) let's be fair like she may be like a performance artist in the the shallowest sense but she puts the work in and i respect that remember the last time we were talking about butts with him yes i was just i was okay you want to get into this (laughs) i I just wanted to okay we were talking about bell delphine i kind of wanted to see what else you knew about the story well yeah basically she was injured Apparently falling off something, and I thought she just got sick of everybody. She might have, but uh, she's back. I mean, she needs like another like she, maybe she, maybe tax season came around, and she's like, I need money. Yeah, I heard that she has a small business with her ex boyfriend or something like that. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, they're probably both on the on the masthead, so they're both financially um required to pony up. Yeah, I saw like a a video about like what happened to her, and some guy had uh, he looked into. She lives in the UK, right? And yeah. I found out two things about the, in this video. It's very interesting. Yeah. Prison records in the United States. 
in the United States are um, open to the public. Oh. The prison records in or, or arrest records. Oh yeah, arrest. Oh yeah, yeah. Are open in the United States, but not open in the UK. Is she in the UK? Yeah. God, there's a lot of like, like um, uh, e girls from Canada. Yeah, that too. Yeah, so Pokey like, Maine. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of like uh, people who shake their butt at the cameras for tokens. There, there are a lot of them from Canada. It's really weird. Yeah, that's a, that's their um main export. Well, that it's, and maple syrup. Yeah, well, it's cold there like nine months out of the year, so probably there's a lot of time spent indoors. They have to monetize. So yeah. who, who knows? And then um, but I found out that uh, so they, there was some arrest. I don't know. They couldn't they couldn't figure out, but apparently, um, business records are open to the public. In oh. the UK, but I don't think they're as open in the public. Here? Well, Here. There's some, like, I remember, like, um, uh, Lindsay Ellis, she, she she has some business records, like, some of her finances are available to the public, so it's... Oh, probably, yeah. So, a little bit, probably, but maybe less so down here than up north. Yeah. So, th- so yeah, so she's had, she has some business issues that she had to work out, yeah. and apparently an injury. Yeah, so there, it was public, and some guy would did research for like the past six months trying to find out where she went. <laughs> that sounds like something someone on the internet would do is like, I have to find out. He was also one of the guys who bought her bath water, by well, the of, way. Of course. Once you, like, listen, once, <laughs> once that tap is turned off, you, you got to get that sweet <laughs> Belle Delphine nectar back. He's like, okay, I bought this bath water, but now what am I going to do with It tasted so good. <laughs> it tasted. Apparently he tested it to see if it was like true bath water. It tastes like e-water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so how would you test that? Would you take a bath in your own water and then? Well, yeah, you'd probably like you'd have to find a scientist, obviously. Yeah, and then you'd you'd put it all right. This is bath water, and then this is also supposedly bath well, and, water. And you and need a placebo, so you yeah. need like a like a just regular faucet, just water. regular water from the from the tub, and then you like have a scientist look at it, and it'd be like, okay, this has a lot of skin and fecal matter in it. So does this one. This does not. <laughs> so I think I think yeah, like the, y- you hear about testing for poops. It's like there's poop everywhere. That's the grossest part about human life. Wow, we went from Bell Delphine to poop everywhere. We, we, we really take you on a journey here at the Transmit Podcast. Well, um, yeah, I guess uh, people have ingested her fecal matter. I guess and and her skin cells and sebum and everything else that sh- that sloughs off of her in the bathtub. She sent uh, spit to the H three podcast. Oh, you know, those lucky fuckers. <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah, remember that? Yeah. Oh, my God, that is that is just... Char- that sounds like her. That is like classic her. I feel like I'm... I see the hotness of Belle Delphine, but I feel like I'm at that age now where she doesn't have the effect on me that she would have if I was like a teenager or young. Oh, yeah, if we were teenagers, I would like... I would simp for her strong. <laughs> Yeah. I would just uh, like right now she is like it. She's like an anomalous, like fun thing to report on. And that's that was the true sadness for her, like disappearing was the hit to the podcast. <laughs> right. We didn't have a Bell Delphine report. And now we do again. Yeah. This is going to be great. So she's putting out videos now. Uh, apparently she, she just put up the, the one little rap video, which I found charming and stupid. That sounded like um, what is that Dutch band? The South African group. It sounded like D Antwoord. Mm, so yeah, I'm getting like yeah, K pop vibe myself, but yeah, it's like a it's like a white person's uh, like look at K rap. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh God, she is she is a blessing to the weird internet culture we have. Oh, and and speaking of um weird internet cultures, um, actually it's not that that was a terrible are, transition. Are we not going to talk about? That time well, we were talking th- I about guess bus. there's cultures inside of her spit and inside. Oh, of the there lots water. of cultures. Oh, yeah. I was just, I was just curious. Like, on average, do do does the top or the bottom do more tonguing of a gay man's butt in the in the gay relationship? I get that. Yes, your results may vary, but that every relationship is different, right? But there are also averages in life, and I'm betting. I'd be willing to put money down that there is an average. I'm not saying it's a hundred percent, but. If you were well, to talk, I think to, okay. this isn't really what I wanted to talk about. Oh, what did you want to talk about? The fact that you would determine a relationship to be incompatible if the woman you were dating wanted you to eat her butt well, and I'm you not, refuse. Well, listen, if it was a deal breaker, it's a deal breaker. I mean, for well, that's her. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not. I s- mean, this is like if she asked as, and Victor, just accept- as you said, this is like when DJ Khaled was like. I'm never going to eat my woman's pussy out. 
And everyone is like, wow. Well, there's, there's so a, self-serving that you wouldn't even do something that would make your well, there's a spouse or significant other happy. There's a slight difference What's in that the difference? Well, poop doesn't come out of a vagina. Well, neither does poop come out of a butt if it's clean. Yeah, but there's still a brown... Ri- I'm not saying it's an entirely rational like thing going on here, but it's still... It's, what, I have to, what, if she didn't like sucking dick, I'd have to be like, well, you're a bad partner. I mean, I'm just saying. Is your dick only one fleshy pink color, or does it have different colors along? What the the denotion the the denotion of color there isn't that, isn't just differences in skin tone. There's a poop denotion. Not with, with a the brown, brown. No, that's What's just this? the color of the skin. So if you when they bleach the butthole, and it turns into a nice regular shade of every all the skin around regular. it. Regular. Yes, regular. And it matches the rest of the of the skin tone. That's that's nothing. That's just that's just it happens to tan somehow right around well, the butthole. Well, you can bleach skin. I, you can bleach you can bleach your skin to be what, lighter in certain areas. Yes, but does that does that involve actually removing particulate Probably. matter or because that's melanin when you're talking about actual skin tone? And that's yeah. melanin in the butthole region. I'm I'm curious how the butthole like just the little part that the poop touches happens to also. Um, you realize that there are some people who like legitimately they don't have that coloration around their anus and that some people do. It's literally just a genetic thing. Okay, well, I'm going to need to see some, some data on that. <laughs> so, okay, look, I think but, while you look that up. But um, I guess you can ask Emily. She watches gay porn. If you, I was trying to, but then you, we all had to shuffle off. But if you're talking about in the real population, it's probably harder to tell than yeah. porn is recorded, so you can actually get your data from that. Right, but she she's also like you know she works with the gay community as part of her job, so I mean she might have some. She's had some no, insights. She, I, don't, I don't think she would know that much. She <laughs> only, I think she you can only tell that from recorded. I mean she she's taught uh, okay she's probably talked to more gay dudes about gay stuff <laughs> than I have. Well, then she might know like a fraction a bit more than you do. Exactly. And you know that, and that's, that's the accumulation of knowledge and it's a beautiful thing. Okay. Look, the butt stuff, it's great. But, oh, oh. But you refuse? Oh, look, uh, listen, if she's really special and if, you know, we really bond, maybe, but it's still like, I I wouldn't say to, to a woman, if you don't suck my dick because you find it like demeaning or dirty, you're a bad person. It's literally just extra deposits of melanin in the body. Is it? Yes. Okay, we're, okay we'll, we'll do some research. We'll I come literally back. have done research. <laughs> okay, and we'll come back with the next episode, but it's, uh, like, this, 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 this is stagnating. Well, okay, what's, yeah, what's the next? Okay. Um, God, yeah, I'm, I'm all over. The, oh, um, Domino's, you hear it is, is uh, getting canceled for like a, like a 2012 tweet. How would they do in 2012? Uh, Kaylee McKenney uh, said, hey, this pizza is really good in 2012. And uh, in, 20, in 2020, someone found that tweet and uh, they're catching all kinds of hell for that. What? Who's Kaylee McKenney? Uh, Trump's press secretary. Oh. So before she was anyone's press secretary, probably still in college, uh, she said, hey, Domino's, you got some good pizza. And they said, hey, thanks a bunch. And uh, then someone said, you've ruined your brand. Like... <laughs> Six years later, or like eight years later. Oh, that's yeah. And they had a great like response. It was just like, well, listen, you know, it's it's a it's an eight year old tweet. I guess that's twenty twenty for you. So I, I don't know. It's a it's been a very weird year, and that that's just like a, like well, a funny okay. bit of internet culture right there. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, that means we're getting closer to uh, things going back to normal. If stuff like that. Yeah. Once is. once that stuff. Once you see like I think you were right. Like generally, when you talk about like. When the when the virus first hit and the new media was still acting like everything was normal, like that should have been a cue that maybe this isn't as bad as we all thought it was. Mm-hmm. And so, and this is like a serious cue that, like, okay, we we're we're back to being out of problems. <laughs> like, if this is what we all choose to like scream about, it's like, okay. There's toilet paper at Costco now. Oh God, um, it's so great. That means it's time to start stocking up. Time to start. Yeah, but it was people. only Charmin, and Charmin clogs the fucking pipes. 
That's true. Well, you could use my my bargain bin toilet paper. No. That does Okay, listen. I don't want sandpaper assholes. Hey, listen, if you want to get those melanin deposits off your butthole. So we have we need toilet paper that's <laughs> It's not as high class as Charmin, but not as low class as your toilet. Whatever. Right. Bargain so the bin. regular Kirkland is usually fine. Medium toilet paper. Oh uh, God. Hey, you ever remember those old um, LCD like poker games and fishing games? Mm, Tiger Electronic. But yeah, like you have like just it. It's just like it has like um, poker or like uh, or solitaire. Yeah. What about those? I was thinking like, what that was a very weird time technologically because we had like Game Boys, right? Yeah. And stuff that was like way more interactive, but like, we had like old people who didn't want to master like, like two extra buttons. It's like they know solitaire, and you can sell them like a like a two dollar toy that costs you like eighty cents to make in Taiwan. Yeah. And so I, I was thinking like because I, I I had this in like Iowa like bef- like when we were still really poor and it was, it was just like some fishing game where it had an accelerometer and you could like flick it and catch fish and stuff and I hit my brother in the face with it once hmm. and on accident he was like sitting watch this is how bored we were is that it was like you could w- like push a button and your boat goes around the LCD um, like black LCD not like color hmm. and uh, he was looking over my shoulder this is how interesting it was to him and I you have to flick it to catch the fish and I popped him right in the face <laughs> and I was, I was I was wondering like uh, was that a big thing out here I think um. it was really it was bigger in in the Midwest no, I've seen, I've seen like, uh, not a lot, but as a kid, I remember those Tiger Electronics being really popular, like electronic games, like with um, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. Oh, yeah, those were for kids, though. Like, the poker ones, those are for, like, adults. Like, no one, no one knows, like, Gin Rummy. Yeah, I don't think, um, I didn't see those. Yeah, well, now everyone does that on their phone. Yeah. So, I, I, was, I was just, I, that, that was just a bit of a curious thing I, I had. Uh, yeah, I guess, um... The amount of electronic devices is going down, I guess. Yeah, oh, yeah. As the o- the overall number, yeah, <laughs> is is declining. But like the functionality of our phone is like rocket. Like my watch now has like all the functionality of like eighteen things. Yeah, there's probably more games than ever before. It's but it's they're really on less electronic devices. <laughs> yes, and and they cost more money if you want to have actual fun with a lot of them. Yeah, that's true. It's like, oh, you want to win this game? Well, just give me 99 cents and you'll stop seeing the same three commercials. Oh, that reminds me of uh, the Star Trek... Or sorry, this, I was just watching Star Trek. Oh, yeah? Card. But the Star Wars... What's it called? Squadron? Yeah. The tra- I saw the trailer and I guess the trailer... I missed it, but I was reading the comments. I have to watch the trailer again, but supposedly the trailer said... I must have had the sound off mm-hmm. when I was watching it. It said that um, you can unlock everything in the game just by playing it. <laughs> Which that is a sad <laughs> state of affairs where that's, that's like a selling your, point. <laughs> like, oh, hey, you're tired. You're tired of buying packs. Like, uh, actually, yeah, I've spent like eight hundred dollars. Like, oh, you just play the game and you get all the stuff. What? <laughs> I just, Imagine coming from like what? the the like coming five uh, years ago to the future from oh. the past. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Back when like you know. None of that stuff existed. It's like uh, actually that like, was like normal talk. Like Nintendo. Like let's say let's say like Nintendo or even Xbox, regular Xbox. Yeah. Yeah, where you actually played. All you had to do to unlock everything was either go on the internet and look for codes. Or just, or just play the game or and just, just play the game yeah. and unlock all the shit. And then you skip ahead, like, oh God, what's Imagine it gonna be lo- like in eight years? And then you go to the future and then like they're like, Guess what? You can play this game and unlock everything just by playing the game. And like and it's like, why do you look so like triumphant with that? That is, <laughs> that's just a game, right? Like, no, no, no. You see, you d- you don't have to buy like a special edition and also like special packs to get skins for your gun. What? <laughs> skins packs. Packs. What? what? <laughs> I don't understand. Money. Okay. Um. I think real you, money. You, yeah, you might be a whale. I think that's what you are. <laughs> that's what they refer to you as. Is a whale. What's that? What's uh, someone who's going to pay a shitload of money oh. <laughs> into the game. Yeah, I was kind of. Um, what there was this like this rumor, this myth that Mortal Kombat actually cost six thousand dollars if you wanted to get everything, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is so damn sad. But I don't think it actually. I think it's actually less. I think it's. But it's still like I think a thousand dollars. It's like rid- <laughs> yeah, it's like a ridiculous <laughs> amount, and it got pretty bad there. So I think they're kind of like walking it back now. Yeah. Especially as a new console generation comes out, they're go- they're going to want people to buy consoles. So who knows what it's going to do in the next few uh, in the next few years? Yeah, I think I think it would be cool for it to go back to 
you no. just you, you you buy the game once. Yeah. yeah well, if if they come out with like a new expansion pack, that's a different story. But like, if if you're sitting there like, oh hey, you want to look? This gun makes your this skin makes your gun look like a series of dildos. Like ooh. Yeah. Or Luke Skywalker skin. Everyone's gonna want that Luke Skywalker. Oh skin. yeah. Do you do you want old him or do you want young him? Do you want him <laughs> without the hand with you know with the robot hammer him with with the regular hand? I mean, come on. There's so many options. But you know. If, if they make me play for pay for Luke Skywalker, you're out. I'm uh, yeah, I'm out. I'm gonna burn my <laughs> copy, my digital copy. Wow, you have to, you're you're gonna set you're gonna take a road flare to or you gotta put it out in my burn bin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's like why is the whole? You, did you burn your PS5? Yes. Oh. I'm never gonna buy any games from the company anymore. Like that doesn't really do anything. Like people say that and stuff. Yeah, they're not gonna, especially as digital comes around. It's like, well, if you want to destroy your copy, you're gonna have to just delete it. Oh, that doesn't have the same. Mm. <laughs> I know. And who's making Squadrons? EA or something? It's EA. EA Sports. They do EA. not have a good um, history of a uh, of of monetization, but I think they're gonna. Th- I think they're trying to turn over or at least uh, re refresh their brand image to not mm. be as predatory. <laughs> so so who knows. Okay. Or like the game pauses halfway through. It's like that'll be one ninety nine. Like, wait, what? No, fuck you. <laughs> but it looks really good. Like, if you want to know, like, if I would, if if I would go down on a woman's butt, for um, for it, it would be more Star Wars fighter simulators. That that's what I would. That's what I would do it for. I'm actually considering uh, getting the console. Getting the yeah. Ooh. Oculus actually. Oh, that'd be awesome. Getting on on the Oculus. That would see. be good. I would I would I fully support that decision. I'd get a PC and then buy the PC version of that game and then uh, play it on the Oculus. PC? What the fuck? Fine, whatever. <laughs> God damn it. Well, in other gaming news, um, the, I, I told you about The Last of Us Two and their the changes they made. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, it came out. Well, it's coming out, and uh, like people are starting to actually play so it. So is it out or not out? It's out. Okay. Uh, initially, they just had a bunch of like reviews from like like game journalists. And they were all 10 out of 10, like suspiciously 10 out of 10. Okay. And recently, uh, like regular people started playing the game and it is bombing pretty bad. Oh, really? So I'm not sure if they bought all those reviews, but that, that was an interesting data point for me is like, wow, this game is getting really, really, really good reviews <laughs> from a lot of professional sites. It, it, it's like the difference between like the on Rotten Tomatoes between like the critics and the audience. Well, uh. Okay, so I guess game critics are like movie critics. They're ba- they they're either woke or can be bought off. <laughs> woke or can be bought off. Yeah, well, well, this game has some woke stuff to it, so there there might be that. Hmm. So so who knows? I, I want to play it, but I still I loaned my um my PS4 to my sensei, so I, I'm kind of out of luck till the lockdown ends fully for uh, P5 Academy. Okay, how about we do a little news? Weren't we just doing news with Bell Dolphin? Well, that, that's the Bell Delphine report. That's that's its own thing. <laughs> that that is a report about Bell Delphine, and look forward to more of those. Ridiculous. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's see here. Okay, there's um, there, there's a there's a a, a, a a race car driver called Rene Rene Garcia or Gar- Gracie Rene Ga- Ra- Gracie. Wait. Can, can you look this up? I do not know how to <laughs> pronounce it. How's it spelled? Uh, R-E-N-E-E Gracie. Well, anyway. Renee. Renee Gracie. Okay. I, I was driving when I wrote it. So um, she has uh, shifted away from race car driving, and, and she has gone into cam girling, hmm. and apparently is earning about 90K a month. So she's far out stripping her, um, her race car um, earnings with porn. And I, I don't know how to feel of it. Like, she, listen, I, I, I support any woman who wants to do cam girling, mm-hmm. but I don't know how to feel about her giving, giving up, having to give up one dream to do porn. Did she do it of her own accord? Well, she did, yeah. but just yeah. like yeah. the way some people will take a shittier job because they had to. I'm not sure if, if it's like, no, this is awesome, or if it's like, no, you just do what you got to do, or if it's like, oh, fuck, I got to do well, porn. Well, did she talk about how much money she's actually making? What ninety k a month? Yeah. Well, uh, well, uh, making a lot of money doesn't mean you're you're happy. I uh, see. I don't know. Like this is the thing. Like she was passionate about, like racing. And well, I'm I'm not I, I'm just not entirely sure. And I was wondering, like, what, what 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 would you think if you if you shifted away from let's say Victor, you shifted away from art, 
to, to masturbate into a camera. <laughs> Not saying that's 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 in any way something. I mean, you if you were making ninety thousand dollars a month, would you fucking do it? <laughs> Does the money to you equate to happiness? I let yes. me see. I probably oh. wouldn't. Oh, really? I mean, for 90k a month, obviously I have a delivery job, but, so it's not like. Oh. Well, I think um, there's a lot of complex things going on here. We oh. can get we can get into it. A, a little, just a little. <laughs> I'm just okay. For for my perspective, I, oh. I think um, people can be into multiple things. Like you can be into, like I'm into wrestling and art and so like right. Joe Rogan's into MMA and like aliens and stuff. And right. And like, you know, samurai swords and shit. So like, oh, yeah. you know, this is a very eclectic woman. She's into racing and sex. <laughs> racing and sex. Okay, I got the next thing queued up. Um, so like, you know, she's, she probably still watches racing on TV. She probably still posts stuff about it on her social media. That's true. I but mean, she also probably jacks off in front of a camera. I mean, a lot of, a lot of people are into sex. It doesn't mean like, oh, this is my career path. But I mean, obviously, well, it, I, it's, I, don't, I, don't I would, I would do it. Some, well, you can make sex like a, a hobby I, and an interest. I'm, I'm beyond, not saying you cannot, but beyond like, beyond like just, you know, using it for masturbation purposes. Like food is like, I'm really into food, but you know, like I'm not yeah, like, I'm not, you can be really, you can be a chef or like a cook or something. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it's not, it's not exactly. Just because you like food doesn't mean you are like a food person. Right. So that's the thing. There's a lot of gray area here that, we're, that, okay. So Victor, that's your assignment. Look into Renee Gracie. Um, yeah, I'm awake. Yeah, I'm awake. She's awake. You look like you fell asleep. Oh God! Damn. I just I found that interesting. like since like you know I I would do it because like I I have a delivery job. It's not like my passion is delivering lettuce to old ladies. So, well, yeah. I mean, she's probably. I don't. She probably didn't like get fired from her race. No, it was or, a lockdown thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I think uh, she's probably using her fame too and her celebrity to help to, her to ish, yeah so she's oh she's cornering that racer market do you think she, yeah oh wait, i gotta see her content and see everybody if she, wants to see like the naked athlete or know, the or the naked the celebrity hot, naked, yeah so oh and yeah she, she might have like a like a racing themed like porn videos like she takes off the racer's helmet and she's got like a special <laughs> jumpsuit with like a tearaway crotch so she can still have like all her sponsors on it yeah and plus like you know we're living in a time where um camming is like becoming increasingly less and less weird like remember when people did um playboy back in the day it was kind of like yeah that was like oh weird or like if they did porn but now like if you're camming it's like very accepted it's increasingly yeah and it's and it's a better way to do it so that you know you're not like screwed over by some like skeezy porn company it's just you and your website and you're getting whatever people want to throw at you yeah so that's pretty cool okay um next up um jimmy kimmel uh you ever see the man show Oh uh, yeah, I think I've seen a few episodes of that show. No. Okay. Well, he um, he uh, he's uh, taking a break from his um his late night show because um they found his um Carl Malone, um videos, from the Man Show. So this was a different time here. Check it out. So. Yeah. Sometime at night, Carl Malone look up in sky and say, <laughs> "What the hell going on up there? <laughs> Do UFO live it's on another planet? Phoning home like ET?" <laughs> Come along, read on TV about white people getting deducted by aliens, sticking all kind of <laughs> hell up their butt. And that's a damn thing. Now, Home Alone never seen no flying saucer himself, but if he I do, I'm that's going to be a spooky time. It's a good impression. That's what Home Alone say. Appearance? Government got well, there was a different time See, the, when you the could... appearance is funny in a different yeah. way. Oh, yeah, the appearance is funny in a different way, but like his delivery in that is great. Like getting deducted by aliens. He, he plays an idiot, and it's really. Oh, it's 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 it is funny. Like I remember seeing that when I was a kid, and I was like, "No, this is a uh, this is funny." So Jimmy Kimmel got canceled. He's letting it canceled because he's super woke. So he's get he got so he's, uh, under, unlike Jimmy Fallon, who um is kind of apolitical, so he has to apologize profusely. Jimmy Kimmel is really woke and outspoken, so he he gets to disappear for a little while while the heat dies down, <laughs> and then he comes back, <laughs> and we all just don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah. So. I, I, I'm I'm wondering at what point do we find is, is is every famous woke person got blackface in their history? Uh, that's a good question. Yeah, it's like at a certain point you realize, okay, you can't hold this against them. Everyone was doing it, and no one gave a shit. Well, if they do it today, yes, give them hell. 
If yeah. they did it in the nineties, maybe it's time to yeah, move even the forward. even President Trudeau is yeah, President like Trudeau. blackface. <laughs> and and Prime that, Minister, he's not a president. Pr- yeah. Prime Apologies. Minister, okay. <laughs> that's the important part of this equation. <laughs> Prime Minister, yeah. Well, um, and that's the bad kind where you're just t- making fun of a whole race. You know, I think I think part of the thing there is there's a little bit of uh, hypocrisy because. You can dig into my history, and I've never done blackface. Right. You don't find me doing... I don't think you've ever done blackface. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> so it's like, okay, so these people telling us like how we should behave, they're kind of hypocritical because they've all done fucking blackface. Yeah. I haven't done that shit. And everyone laughed. I'm probably way less racist than Jimmy Kimmel was when, when he wrote that. Yeah. I'm well, probably, and through my whole entire life, but the spectrum of racism that I have is probably less than... What he was then painting your he didn't do black at face. that time he did you, you black got anything body. you want to open up open up about <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> got anything you want to confess <laughs> oh yeah let's why let's, you, well look the new the new religion look the new religion is wokeness and the only way to absolve yourself of these sins is to make do the chance supplicate yourself before whoever <laughs> you may or may not have wronged and 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 then you will be you really it it. It won't help either, because if they're angry at you, they're just gonna like double down on hating you. Well, uh, no, I think, I think, <laughs> I think if you really, if do you're the th- do the thing where you do the hail marys and then you go to like the confessional in front of the priest and then give them your uh, what is it called? Do ask your, for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness. It'll work. It'll it'll work. Well, yeah, yeah. Fr- from from yeah, a religious organization. That's their job to say. Okay, I'm, not, God I'm, I'm saying you. I'm speaking metaphorically. Oh. Of yeah. the religion of the wokeness, as you call it. Mm. Or, I mean, if I think that's part of the problem is it's a little bit too religious. Yeah, right it, I think if you have value, oh, they'll they'll totally forgive you. If you're just some schmuck on the internet, they'll they'll still come after you. Well, not not unless you. I, I, as I said, though, oh, but not yeah, unless you um, ask for true forgiveness. You have to ask for true forgiveness and really <laughs> supplicate yourself. So okay, maybe maybe okay. Let's we'll find out. Like this is still a very new religion, and like any new religion, it's 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 got a lot of fire and brimstone. This guy's yeah. got a lot of, a lot of heat. But no, the um the intentions behind politics today, and you know, cancel culture and wokeness culture, the intention behind that is still good, though. I think. Uh, I think. I think. S- oh. Yeah, I think us trying to move forward and trying to. Um, Right the wrongs. Right the wrongs of the past and stuff is a good intentions. I think for some that is good, but for others it's just a club to hit people you don't like with. Well, I'm talking about the intentions. All the in- you can't say the intentions are bad. Um, yeah, but uh, but eventually it's it gets used just as oh, a, as a lever. As a club. Yeah, that's that's where it's a religion, and that's where it's bad. I think. Yeah, so it, it it's nice to say yeah, like, like he the, the intentions of religion are good, right? Oh yeah, but like. But then it gets used as a club. <laughs> yeah. So it's, yeah, yeah it's, it's it, execution, execution, execution. Yeah. So um, Jimmy Kimmel's disappearing for the summer, it appears. He's supplicating. He's so. supplicating. Well, he, he hasn't even actually addressed it. He just <laughs> went away. <laughs> he's got a lot to atone for. Yeah, he, he's in a bunker somewhere. The sins of his past. He is. He's, okay, um. How about we do uh, one more thing? Actually, you know what? No, yeah, we'll do one more thing. Uh, do you want to talk about uh, the morality of of um, of uh, of, of um, not quite stealing or Django Unchained? Do you want to keep it on the woke train, <laughs> or do you want to keep it on something a little more, a little well, more well, off the rails? I don't know which one is which. What that? Um, roll the dice. Flip <laughs> that coin. Let's just uh, let's lighten it up a little bit. Okay, with the uh, with the bike thing, I I realize that if you buy an, a second bike lock and slap it on somebody's locked bike, that's technically not theft. And uh, I was wondering, like, what what would you call that? Oh, rude. Rude. Okay. What if it's a really good bike lock and they cannot get it? Really fucking rude. But it's not theft. But is it something you can be charged with? I think I think there is something going on there that might be illegal. There's some, it I, might I be know, kidnapping. Right? Right, kidnapping someone's stuff. Like, yeah. It's kidnapping. Or no, that's if he false it's like imprisonment. you're holding hostage someone's like a hostage property. Situation. Like false imprisonment, I think. <laughs> is, uh, you know what? That just came to me. False imprisonment is what it would be. Yeah. You, you're, you're falsely imprisoning my Schwinn with an extra lock. 
Yeah. Um, or stealing or not stealing. See, it's not. Yeah, because you just keep hijacking property. Or Maybe. <laughs> or <laughs> I, I think Im- false imprisonment is the yeah. way to go. Like I think <laughs> I think I think that that is it. And so, is yeah. the, is there a law against falsely imprisoning somebody's bike? Hmm. Falsely imprisoning property. I know, like, if you bike lock somebody, that's that's false imprisonment. You think there'd be a law for this because... Um, there's got to be a prankster out there who's done that. And he's like, oh, here's a... Uh, yeah, know. I just Googled it, and there's a bunch of stuff about it. So I'm looking to see. And laws are funny because it's all up to the judge to decide whether he wants to. Yeah, with a lot of stuff, yeah, there's a lot of judge discretion. Yeah. And le- unless there's sentencing guidelines, then you might be fucked. So I'm yeah. curious where you got this thought from. I was looking at it. Actually, no, I was remembering this bike um, over at um, the, uh, what's the El Cajon trolley station uh, before you head deep uh, further off. And it's, it was just stayed locked to like, it's been locked there for like months and all the parts were stolen off of it, except for the part that was locked to this thing. And I was curious if somebody just like, like extra locked it there or just like um, did something fucked up or like if someone just left their bike there for some reason. And the thought occurred to me, if somebody locked it, down there is that a crime or is it like is it just a shitty thing to do because hmm. i knew it wasn't theft i kept like going back to it's stealing right no it's not stealing <laughs> it feels like stealing it doesn't feels it? like some shade <laughs> of theft <laughs> but if i glue somebody's money to the floor um so it looks like arizona and montana might have laws that sort of apply which is exerting unauthorized control over someone else's property and thereby depriving said person of use of that property which is equivalent to theft so it's equivalent to but is not theft okay that's that's that scratch that itch i like that i i brought i didn't want to look it up because i wanted to talk about here on the podcast because if i just look it up then it's just like oh i had a question and then i that's that's the story (laughs) yeah i had a question and i answered it okay moving on to the next topic (laughs) all right well i guess it's a pen like uh yeah i guess if you did that to someone's bike who was really important you'd get in trouble but if it was just some like loser (laughs) just some loser like the judge would be like, oh, he's a loser. Who cares? Yeah, who cares? Listen, it, 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 the, he got that bike from a used shop. It's fine. Just give him 50 bucks. Call it a day. Kind of sucks how it works out that way. But. Oh, yeah. Like bike theft is like super under like enforced. Like <laughs> they had something out in New York where it's really bad, where they showed like people stealing bikes in public mm-hmm. to the point where they took like a heavy chain and chained it up. And then they filmed a guy opening up a lamppost to get at the power outlet in there and using an angle grinder to cut the, the bolt like or this heavy chain. Damn. In broad daylight. So, like, I don't know. Like, for some reason, bikes and, like, especially now computers. Like, if someone steals your computer, like, the only way you can get the cops to respond is to say, oh, he had a gun. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, my $2,000 computer, oh, yeah, I fell out a report and we'll get to it never. Yeah, that's, that sucks. It's like, no, I have the I have the find my, my computer thing. It's in that house over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get around to it sooner or later. All right, bye. <laughs> I know. Fucking cops. All right, uh, on that... See, see, yeah, that's how that's how you get those viewers. You say "f the popo." Okay. That being said, oh god, oh. I'll fix that. I'll fix that in post. Okay. So that being said, listen, that that felt good. Like it got off to a slow start. You know, like you guys are just like, "Hey, what's going on?" You're like, "Okay." But you know, we got it. We got it rolling. We got it rolling. All right. Well, I would suggest. Oh, what would you? New questions. To get it going. Less general questions, more specific questions. Well, I was hoping you'd like talk about your work or something. I could ask you questions about it. Be like, oh, I worked today. I did a thing. Oh, but really? Why is that? That's kind of. Why weird. are you making people think about work when they're not at work? Because I thought about work when I was here, because that's where I thought of all my that's, stuff. That's your problem. No, that's, <laughs> that's not our problem. It's where you spend like a lot of your time, and you might have thoughts there. So that's why we would not want to continue to think about it when we're not there. So, and you only think about work at work? I think about like so many other things at work. Okay, you know what? Just couch this discussion for later. That being said, thanks for listening to the Transmit Podcast. I'm your host, Spike. I'm Victor. I'm Smith. We'll see you next time.